and he easily just drifts past the Polish defender, cuts back inside, goes onto his right, looks for the finesse, oh my word. Mbappe on this left hand side trying to drive forward, ends up going back to Teo Hernandez, he finds Pogba, gonna strike from distance, oh my goodness it's off the bar. Kingsley Coman to take the corner this time, swings it in again to the edge of the six yard box and it's off the line. The two-time and current reigning world champions France head into Qatar 2022 as arguably one of the favourites, boasting incredible players like Mbappe, Benzema and Antoine Griezmann. However, after an early exit at Euro 2020 at the hands of Switzerland, they head into this World Cup with massive pressure and expectation to get back to winning ways. In today's World Cup episode, we're going to put those expectations to the test and we're going to find out whether former captain, now manager Didier Deschamps can lead this French team to back to back World Cup triumphs. Welcome back everyone to a brand new episode of this World Cup series and as you can see we will be playing as France heading into this World Cup tournament. For anyone who watched my England World Cup episode yesterday you'll know that we had an absolute terrible time knocked out of the round of 16 by Ecuador after a pretty pretty dire set of performances in the group stage as well so with a better squad and with far more experience actually winning World Cup tournaments, let's hope that today we can have a little bit more success with France. And speaking of this French squad, you'll see that we line up with three at the back, four in midfield, Antoine Griezmann in the camp position, and then Benzema and Mbappe leading the line. Very similar to yesterday, kind of frustrating that they haven't updated the squads because the likes of Pogba and Kante as well, both seemingly making this French squad. I'm not able to update it in order to bring in actual players who are travelling. But nonetheless, we're still going to give it a go and we're going to stick to this formation and we're going to stick to this bench as well. And in terms of the tactics, I'm not going to make too many changes. Pressure on Harry Touch I'm pretty happy with. In terms of the depth, I'll push us up just a little bit higher. We do have quite a lot of pace in our back line to be able to cover that. In terms of our offence, definitely want fast build-up play and want some forward runs from my players. Add a few more players into the box, but apart from that, it's looking pretty good to kick off this World Cup campaign. And in terms of kicking off this campaign, you'll see that we are going to be starting this competition with Australia. And we've also got Denmark and Tunisia in our group as well. So pretty confident we should be able to make it through. But if yesterday's England episode is anything to go by, you'll know it may not be as straightforward as I'm hoping. So here we go. This World Cup campaign with France kicks off today. And it kicks off with a game against Australia that really we should be winning. So here we go then. Here is the starting eleven. As you can see, we've gone 3-5-2. Lloris starts in goal. Back line of Kimbembe, Varane and Jules Kunde as well from Seville. We've got Hernandez, Pogba, Griezmann, Kante, and Kingsley Coman rounding off the five in midfield with the two leading the line in Mbappe and Benzema. Rogic for Australia now. Plays it out wide to Goodwin. It goes in field to McLaren. Still waiting for our first touch of this game so far as Australia taking control early doors inside the first five minutes. Rogic back to Mo Moy, I think that was. Uh, Rogic again has it now. Plays it into the box to McLaren. It's an early strike. It's a good save from Hugo Lloris. Going to be Goodwin with the corner. He's going to whip this one in. They get their head on it. And it's off the line. What on earth is going on inside the opening 10 minutes here? Goodwin with another corner here for Australia. They have started this game off in the opening 10 minutes on absolute fire. Fortunately for me, we just about managed to get the ball clear to Boyle, though. Goodwin picks it up again. Kunde deflected away. And it's off for the third Australian corner inside the opening 10 minutes. Goodwin to take. This time he's going to go short to Moy. Moy's going to try the trickery. Lays it out to the edge of the box to Boyle. Boyle, nice turn away from the defender into Karasic, I think that is blasted against the defender. And Hugo Lloris gets a good hand on it. And Australia have another corner. Goodwin again is going to go short here to Moy. What can he do? Tries to go past Kingsley Coman. It's all too easy. Kingsley Coman just about manages to get a touch on it. And finally, we manage to get some possession with a goal kick. And Golo Kante now into Paul Pogba. Nicely turned away from the defender. And now he continues to drive forward for France. Going to try and lay it off into the path of Mbappe. Shapes to strike. And it's a brilliant strike. And it's an even better save from the goalkeeper. Coman into Griezmann, trying to trick away from the defender. And in the end, he managed to do just that. Griezmann into Benzema, nice turn away. Drives into the penalty area, goes for the cutback. What on earth was Mbappe doing? He was there to finish, just decided not to bother. But now he gets it again, goes for the finesse. Oh my word. Goalkeeper boots this one clear. Varane going to try and get his head on it, and he does just that. Griezmann 
into Paul Pogba. We're starting now just to get a little bit of better handle on this game. Benzema plays it into Griezmann. Griezmann's got a finish straight at the goalkeeper. Griezmann, what on earth are you doing? Into Benzema. Benzema turns, looks for Griezmann. Griezmann's got a second opportunity here to try and strike. He does, and he forces the keeper into another good stop. Griezmann to take this corner, and we are looking far stronger now than we did in the opening 10 minutes, and it's Benzema there who gets his head on it, and he gives us the lead here against Australia. Goes down the right-hand side into the path of Kingsley Coman. He's going to look for Benzema. Benzema now turns, going to try and lay this off to Paul Pogba, and he does just that very, very nicely. Paul Pogba with some really good play into Benzema, went to strike with his right, and it's blocked really well by the defender. Goes in field to N'Golo Kante. He finds Benzema, was going to try and look for Kingsley Coman out wide on the right-hand side, but he decided just to continue a run into the box. But Kingsley Coman now has it back from Benzema. Gives it to Kante. Going to lay this off to Pogba, who's going to try and strike with his left. It's a wayward shot. And in the end, Australia are able to clear that one pretty easily. And Golo Kante now has it. Going to try and spray a ball all the way out wide to the left-hand side to Hernandez. It's a brilliant ball. Hernandez drives into the box. Going to try and whip this over into the path of Benzema. It's a good defensive header away, but we just about managed to keep it. And Mbappe going to lay this off to Kante now. Kante finds Benzema. Benzema to strike. Deflected off the defender and it's out for a corner. Kunde. Oh, Kunde. What on earth is he doing? Loses out very cheaply to McLaren, who now drives into the penalty area. And Australia have got a great opportunity and they've absolutely blown it. Chouameni now for France. The referee blows his whistle. It's game over here. It's a 1-0 win. It's a bit of a tight affair in the end. We probably could have scored one or two more goals. But it doesn't matter. We get the three points and we get off to a very, very solid start to this World Cup campaign. And it looks like Denmark also picked up a 3-2 win against Tunisia, which now puts them top of the table so far. And with Denmark up next, this is probably going to be the tie that defines who's going to win the group. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different on this one. I'm actually going to sim the next two group stage games as it is a group I think we probably should be getting through. And actually, it looks like we ended up drawing 2-2 to Denmark in the end. Benzema are actually missing a penalty in the 40th minute. Mbappe and Kimbembe coming to the rescue, scoring in the 76th minute to manage to rescue a point for us. And it all leads very, very nicely onto the final game of the group stage against Tunisia. And as you can see, Tunisia are in fact out. They lose 3-1 to Australia. So Australia, despite losing 1-0 uh, sorry to us, they actually still find themselves in a decent position to try and get through. It's Denmark against Australia to finish off the group. We really should be picking up three points against Tunisia. And it looks like it was a solid, solid win in the end. 3-1 with goals from Griezmann, Mbappe and Benzema to round off what was a pretty comprehensive win. And as you can see, that win has in fact sent us through top of the group to the last round of 16. We finish off with seven points. Denmark obviously got the win over Australia 2-1. So at the moment, it's Australia and Tunisia who go crashing out. France and Denmark go sailing through to the next round. And it looks like that means we're going to be up against Poland in the round of 16. Obviously, they must have come second in their group. However, for the rest of the ties, the Netherlands ended up beating England 2-1. So once again, even without me controlling them, England crash out of the round of 16 in this FIFA 23 World Cup. Argentina end up beating Denmark 4-3 on penalties after a high-scoring 3-3 draw. The USA and Ecuador face each other along with Spain, Croatia, Brazil against Uruguay, Belgium, Germany in a fascinating tie, and Portugal v Cameroon to round off the final matches of the round of 16. As for us, though, we will be hoping to do something a little bit better than we did yesterday, and that is progress past the round of 16. And we're going to kick off with what I think is going to be a very, very tricky tie against a tough Poland side. As you will see, we are keeping the same formation, and we will be keeping the same starting 11. Larissa in goal, Kimbembe, Varane, and Kunde round off the defensive three. Hernandez, Pogba, Griezmann, Kante, and Kingsley Coman, the five in midfield. And of course... The two main men up front, Mbappe and the Ballon d'Or winner, Benzema as well. Hernandez into Paul Pogba. Pogba finds Antoine Griezmann and if he can find Kingsley Coman on the right-hand side, it is a wonderful ball and he does in fact find him. Kingsley Coman goes across. It's too heavy a pass. Benzema was there to put it in the back of the net and it's a big, big chance wasted. Kingsley Coman now for France into Benzema. Benzema looks for Mbappe. It's a great challenge by the Polish defender. Oh, Frankowski now has it for Poland. Driving into the area. Goes for the chance. Lloris is out like an absolute rocket. And he punches it away. And that is a massive warning sign here. 
Frankowski for Poland. Oh, does really well to get away from N'Golo Kante and Paul Pogba. Out to Zemanski on the left-hand side. What on earth is my defence doing? Very, very fortunate that it only goes out for a corner. Tries to play a wonderful ball over the top into the path of Kingsley Coman. And it is a great ball and it's well taken down by Kingsley Coman. Now I'm going to try and go all the way over the other side. But it's a really poor ball and Mbappe just couldn't get there in time. But N'Golo Kante now picks it up for France. Going to try and lay this back off to Kingsley Coman. He drives into the box. Going to try and look for an option in there. And in the end, it's a pretty poor ball that the keeper is easily able to catch. He lays it in to Benzema. Benzema going to try and look for Mbappe. It's a great ball into him. Gets it onto his right. Goes for the finesse. Brilliant, brilliant save from Chesney. Goes to Antoine Griezmann. We've got five minutes remaining in this first half to try and see if we can fashion at least one more decent opportunity. It's Kingsley Coman into the path of Griezmann. Griezmann looks for Coman. Coman looks for Mbappe. Mbappe tried to put it past Chesney. It's brilliant goalkeeping. And they just about managed to hack the ball away. Kingsley Coman now has it on the right-hand side. Have we just got enough time to try and see if we can get one last chance in the first half? It's headed in. And it's almost in, but it's a good save by the goalkeeper. Kingsley Coman now pays it back into N'Golo Kante. Kante finds Mbappe. Mbappe into Hernandez. It's just the wrong ball. And they again just about managed to hack this one away. Lewandowski for Poland now tries to play a wonderful ball into the path of Zamanski. It's brilliant play here from Poland. It's even better defending from Teo Hernandez. Twice he needed to make a challenge and he did just that. Griezmann now into Benzema. Benzema goes out to the right-hand side to Kingsley Coman. We've got a wonderful opportunity to try and counter-attack here. Coman into the box. Can we get onto it? No, we cannot. N'Golo Kante into Paul Pogba. Pogba now trying to drive into the box. Shifts it onto his right. Try to find Mbappe. Poland are so stubborn defensively. We just cannot seem to break them down. But N'Golo Kante, the main man in midfield, manages to win the ball back. It's Griezmann into Benzema. Benzema tries to find Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba tries to go back to Benzema. Gives it away. Griezmann picks it up again. We are knocking at the door here in this second half. Paul Pogba just trying to find any sort of angle. He just can't seem to. And in the end, we give away a soft foul. Zemanski for Poland, straight against N'Golo Kante. Mbappe now trying to see if he can fashion some sort of opportunity. He's got so much pace and he easily just drifts past the Polish defender. Cuts back inside, goes onto his right, looks for the finesse. Oh my word. Frankowski for Poland. Just plays it right into the path of Paul Pogba. Benzema into Griezmann. This is the opportunity. Antoine Griezmann to put us 1-0 up. And he does just that. We have waited 85 minutes to try and get on the score sheet. And Antoine Griezmann, after missing a golden opportunity earlier on, has absolutely managed to put us 1-0 up here. It's a brilliant finish under a lot of pressure. Lewandowski now, the main man who's been pretty quiet so far in this game. But Zelensky almost tries to go past Varane. He does go past Varane, but Kimbembe just about manages to salvage that. And fortunately for us, he just, just gets there in the nick of time so we don't give away a corner. Varane into Kimbembe. It is long past the stoppage time that the referee has allowed and he blows his whistle. It's game over here. It's another 1-0 win. We go through to the final eight, the quarter final of the World Cup. It's a much deserved win. It was a tight affair. We really struggled to break down a very, very stubborn Polish defence, but we've got the job done. 85 minutes in, that man, Antoine Griezmann, was cool, calm and collected in front of the goal. He put us 1-0 up and he gives us the goal that sends us through to the quarterfinals. And as you can see, it looks like the Netherlands and Argentina will face off in the quarterfinals along with us against the USA. I had really, really tough times for with England against the USA in yesterday's episode. Let's hope I can go one better this time and actually get a decent result from them. So here we go then. It is the quarterfinal of this World Cup and we line up against the United States. As I said previously, a really, really tricky game in yesterday's episode with England. They surprised me with how good they were and they beat us 2-1. I am very much hoping for a much better result today. We've got a better team. I feel like a broken record when I say no changes to the starting 11. 3-5-2, of course. Lloris, of course, in goal. Kimbembe, Varane and Kunde at the back. And, of course, the midfield five. Hernandez, Pogba, Griezmann, Kante and Kingsley Coman with Mbappe and Benzema up front. Of course... With such good performances and, of course, getting through Poland as well, I cannot make any further changes. Hernandez into Paul Pogba. 
Pogba goes in field to Benzema. Benzema lays it off to Antron Griezmann. Antron Griezmann I just took the wrong step there as he was clean through on goal. And that is a lot of momentum out of this move that has gone. But Pogba picks it up into Mbappe. Mbappe shifts it onto his left, onto his right. Gets tied up with Tyler Adams, but he just manages to keep hold of it. I'm going to try and go all the way out to the left hand side to Hernandez. He tries to whip a ball in and Mbappe just couldn't get there. Can Hernandez get the second ball? He can. Antoine Griezmann with the strike with his right. It's a good save by Stefan. Antoine Griezmann now finds Hernandez, who's sprinting forward, finds Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba shakes up to strike, and he strikes well. But Stefan again forced into a solid save. Goes to Paul Pogba. Pogba now goes out wide to the left-hand side to Varane. He's hacked down as well. The referee plays advantage as uh, Varane tries to escape with the ball into Griezmann. Griezmann finds Mbappe. Mbappe to strike. Mbappe to put us 1-0 up here. It's all too easy. We absolutely waltzed through their defence, and Mbappe absolutely smashes it past the goalkeeper to give us a 1-0 lead here. Antoine Griezmann now trying to escape from Tyler Adams, and he just about manages it, but where in the end manages to get there ahead of him. Pulisic now into Ferreira, back to Roldan. Now the United States just managing to get a little bit more of a foothold in this game, but Hernandez picks it up well into N'Golo Kante. Griezmann now tries to get away from Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams too quick from him. Weston McKennie into Ferreira. This is end-to-end -end stuff here, but it's poor passing from America. But they get it back. Weston McKennie strikes, and it goes well wide of the target in the end. Into Paul Pogba. Pogba now tries to play the ball forward. It's a really poor ball, and Roldan picks it up into Ware on the right-hand side. The US now really starting to gain more control into this game. It's a good ball into the box, but in Kante, he is cool, calm, and collected in the box and manages to get it clear. Paul Pogba, though, is not Ware, fortunately for us. It's offside. Paul Pogba under a lot of pressure from the uh, American midfield, but manages to skip away from it. And Golo Kante sees a ball into Benzema. Benzema strikes straight at the goalkeeper. That is a massive opportunity to put us 2 0 up. Kante now for France. Out wide to Teo Hernandez. He drives into the box. Going to strike with his left. Oh my word. It's a fantastic goal from Hernandez. He drove into the penalty area and he absolutely smashed it into the top right hand corner. Gave the keeper no chance whatsoever. It's a brilliant, brilliant goal after some great build up play. A lovely ball through from N'Golo Kante. And once Hernandez got into that position, there was absolutely no stopping him. It's 2 0 here. Mbappe on this left hand side trying to drive forward ends up going back to Teo Hernandez he finds Pogba gonna strike from distance oh my goodness it's off the bar Robinson and that is that the game is over the referee blows the whistle it is 2-0 it's a pretty comfortable performance in the end it's a solid victory and we go sailing into the semi-finals it's retribution over the United States after my performance yesterday and it looks like we are going to be facing off against Argentina our first real challenge so far in this World Cup. We've had a pretty easy run to be fair into the semi-final but now is where it gets really really difficult. They ended up beating the Netherlands 2-1. Portugal ended up beating Belgium 3-2 in the quarters and Croatia managing to get the better of Brazil 2-2 after 90 minutes and they end up winning 5-4 on penalty to set up a very very interesting semi-final tie against Portugal. As for us though this is 100% going to be our first real test so far this World Cup campaign. This is going to be an incredibly difficult game against an Argentina team that are absolutely stacked to the rafters full of talent. It's that man Messi's last ever World Cup and he is definitely going to want to finally get his hands on some World Cup silverware. Of course, it is the usual 3-5-2. Lloris in goal, Kimbembe, Varane and Kunde at the back. The usual five in midfield, Hernandez, Pogba, Griezmann, Kante and Kingsley Coman with, of course, Mbappe and Benzema up front. No real reason for us to change our formation so far. So let's get started with this game. Kante goes to Kimbembe. Kimbembe turns nicely, gives it into Paul Pogba. He finds Kante once again and he's absolutely hacked down by Correa. Correa, if he can manage to avoid a card here, he will be a very lucky man and he is, in fact... A very, very lucky man. Let's check a look at the replay here. He's, oh, that is an outrageous challenge. I think he's just, just managed to get his foot on the ball. But he's absolutely gone through the back of Kante there. And as I said, he's a very, very lucky man. Griezmann now into Hernandez. Hernandez with an early opportunity to drive into the Argentinian box. He does manage to do that. Lays it off to Griezmann on his right. Goes for the strike. It's deflected and Martinez gets a very, very solid hand to that one. Kante. 
into Kingsley Coma now. He turns really nicely and drives out wide to the right-hand side. Going to try and now find an opportunity to cross. He does just that. And it's into the arms of Emi Martinez. Di Maria into Correa for Argentina. It's a nice ball into Messi. Can Messi get there ahead of the defender? He can. And Argentina have absolutely ripped us apart. It's horrendous defending. It's Messi who managed to get ahead of, I think it was Kimbembe. And he played it back to Correa. And Correa, inside the penalty area, made absolutely no mistake. Lashed it past Hugo Lloris. It's a wonderful ball. Managed to get there ahead of him. And as I said, he absolutely lashed it past Hugo Lloris. Gave him no opportunity whatsoever. Unmarked in the box. And Argentina take an early one-goal lead here. Paredes into Correa. Where on earth are my defence? Correa drives into the box. He's looking to make it too. And Hugo Lloris with a massive, massive save. Griezmann now plays in Mbappe. This is an opportunity now for us to strike a lightning counter-attack. It's Griezmann to strike. And it's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Mbappe now with the resulting corner. Whips it into the edge of the six-yard box. And I thought we were going to be able to get our head on it. But we just weren't able to. Mbappe now picks it up once again. That is a crunching tackle from Dybala, but fortunately we just about managed to keep hold of the ball. Benzema switches it onto his right, goes for a strike, and it's another big save from Martinez. Kingsley Coman to take the corner this time, swings it in again to the edge of the six-yard box, and it's off the line. Messi now for Argentina, lays that off to Lo Celso. Correa back to Messi, out wide to Talafeco, driving down this right-hand side. Argentina looking to strike a lightning counter-attack. They drive into the box, no one putting a challenge in on him. It's left to Correa, the goal scorer plays it in. Kunde read that very, very nicely. Talafeco though for Argentina, picks the ball up once again, driving into the centre, lays it off to the substitute, the baller. It's a lovely ball round the back of the defence. Kimbembe hacks that one away. Going to be Messi with the corner to whip it in. It's a good corner and it's an even better header from, um, uh, from Benzema. Sorry, DePaul though picks the ball up and Kante manages to get a challenge in. It's Griezmann. It's a strong challenge from Argentina. They're really putting the pressure on. They are looking desperately for this second goal and they could be about to get it. It's DePaul and it's 2-0. Again, my defence found wanting absolutely no one picking him up in the box. Argentina absolutely rip us apart. And with 78 minutes played, they find themselves 2-0 up here. And we have just over 10 minutes to try and desperately see if we can salvage something from this game. It's a fantastic piece of build-up play. And it's an even better finish from DePaul. Lo Celso for Argentina, trying to drive forward. Argentina don't seem happy with the two goals. They're looking for a third, and they could be about to get one. Lo Celso into the path of Correa. Correa turns. Hugo Lloris forced into a huge save. What on earth is happening? We have completely fallen apart here. Kingsley Coman, though, manages to get ahead of the defender, and now he's got the pace to try and drive down this right-hand side. We are desperately, desperately seeking a goal here. Can he try and find a ball in? He finds a ball against the Kuna, and it's going to be a corner. Griezmann with the resulting corner. We've got less than five minutes to try and see if we can get a goal here. And Benzema off the bar. It's a brilliant save from the goalkeeper. And that is just our luck today. Unbelievable. Kante now picks up the ball in midfield. Going to try and lay this off to Mbappe. Mbappe gets challenged. Argentina kick it away. The referee blows his whistle. We have fallen at the semi-final, Argentina get retribution for being knocked out of the World Cup 2018 by France. Messi celebrates with the rest of his team. It's unbelievable. We have fallen at our first test. We've had a pretty easy run all the way to the semi-final. And as soon as we hit a difficult game, we absolutely fall apart. And there it is, confirmation that we are indeed out of the World Cup. We will play Portugal in a third place playoff. Looks like Croatia ended up beating them 2-1. So it will be an Argentina-Croatia final. But for us, we're going to have to settle for a fight against Portugal for third place. It is so, so disappointing. We probably went into this as favourites. And once again, I let the team down. And as you can see, I simmed this final game. It ended up being a 2-1 win, to be fair. Benzema getting on the score sheet and Griezmann in the 99th minute in extra time managed to get the winner. We managed to get third, but it is not what we really wanted. So that is that for the end of this episode. We come in third in this World Cup. Better than I did with England, but not good enough. The frustrating thing with this World Cup mode is that I can't now see who's going to win the final. So it's between Argentina and Croatia. Hopefully Croatia get retribution for ending up losing the final against France in World Cup 2018. But for us, we've come third. That is the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.